The Blackhawks are either about one win, one loss. They want to get back onto a winning trail. It's a Southern Derby at the GMC Bala Yogi in North Stadium in Hyderabad. Hyderabad to serve first. Here we go. With that, oh, the first spike, not much power there from the number 18. The first point awarded to the Bengaluru Torpedoes, and I'm joined by Colton Cowell of the Kochi Blue Spikers. A team that beat you wins the first point, Colton. I'm going to keep rubbing it in. Unfortunately, both of these teams have uh, beaten us. This is our first two opponents of the season. Both are very talented teams, and it's exciting to be here commentating. Ranjit, the captain, the chief setter, off the side there. Chance, a shot set. Oh, some confusion. Slight confusion in the backcourt there. Pankaj Sharma just kept looking at the ball, should have gone for it. I think a few first point nerves there. We'll see as the torpedoes settle in for this next side out. Right, early point nerves. Raji, shot set. Our winner, Lavit Kataria, is up and away. We saw what he did against the Kochi Blue Spikers. His tall, big frame, making its presence felt. Excellent attack by Love Mead on that. I agree, I agree with the setter's choice. They're running the middle early in the match. Such a thorough overhead that was from Love Mead. Uh, this is also an education on how to set well, how to set intelligently. Right, decent serve that. Luis Arias will not come up with the goods. Bankaj Sharma with that block. His key job is to attack. But well, what a powerful block it was from Pankaj. Pankaj is an excellent all-around player. Key contributor for this team. And what a block on that. The Bengaluru Torpedoes have started with so much belief, so much confidence. They believe they can inflict another blow on the Blackhawks Hyderabad. Not like that. It's not going to happen like that. You cannot be gifting away points at the start of the contest. This disturbs the team's momentum, isn't it? I think, yeah, absolutely. It's very important to set the tone early and often with consistent serving. Ruben Wallachin, when I met him earlier today at the hotel, he said, we're going to look, we're going to look much tighter. He also spoke about the pressure of serving and why uh, players are making these mistakes. He said it's a mix of many things, a bit of technique, pressure, the glitz and uh, the atmosphere of this league, really. Also, the pandemic didn't make preparation easy for the teams. No, certainly not, and I think that you'll see that throughout this league. The serving will continue to improve. Ah, well done by Luis, Venezuelan. Well, he took off from the back of the court. That's going to be the third touch. Pankaj Sharma. We're in for a long rally. It continues. There it is. The winner from the number 10. Rohit Kumar. The rock star from their opening encounter. When they beat the Koji Blue Spikers, Rohit had done the job. And here he is. Looks like he's found his momentum. Yeah, Rohit was an incredible attacker against us in that first matchup. And that was the Rupe contactless shot for this evening. Well done, Colton. You're getting used to being on the mic. That header. Colton, what's, what's the mindset like at the start, in the first set, the first six or seven minutes? What's, what's the psyche like for the player? I think it's very important to find energy within the team, especially in a venue like this where the crowd is electric, the atmosphere is electric. You have to come together and work very hard as a team to establish a tone and set it for the entire match. Yes, we will talk about your captain, Karthik, as well. A Bangalore boy, captain in Kochi. There comes another spike, but the block was ready this time. The captain, Ranjit. They called no touch there. The attack went into the net and deflected out of bounds. So point for the Bengaluru Torpedoes. 
the idea was right. No touch. Uh, the ball touched the net and it landed outside. And so that error giving uh, the Bengaluru torpedoes another point. Rajit Singh is looking like a man on a mission, isn't he? Yes, he certainly is. An excited captain, ready to lead his team. Okay, here we go. Luis! Oh, I thought for a second he had a winner. How much power was that on that shot? This time, from zone four. Amit Gila beating the rhythm of the block on that attack. Just electric, using the hands high out of bounds. Okay. Here he is. Managing to get a winner. Lamit uh, hoped to get a hand on it, but the ball had just uh, raced away. Six for the score. Still early doors in this match number seven. Shot set. And the Bengaluru team gets another point. Rohit feels time. I feel that the tor torpedoes are setting the tone very well with passing right now. Ranjit is able to run his offense successfully, and I think that is going to be a major factor in this match. Yes, I thought uh, the block didn't have enough synchronization. They didn't quite rise at the right time. Oh, what a good serve that. But the set, the set did the job. The set made that point happen. Great service by Pankaj. He really got a good grip on that one, but Amit just too crafty, utilizing the block to his advantage. Great hustle from Pankaj, just not enough to get under that one to prevent Amit from gathering another point. There he is, the captain Vipul from Uttar Pradesh, a big name and Assam as well. Ranjit with the set once again. And that shot had enough power on it to give uh, the Bengaluru torpedoes another point. Varun GS, the outside hitter. Excellent combination. They're using the attacker in area four on an inside set. And he went straight into the block without fear. Tom Joseph and Jimmy George, two of the biggest names in Indian volleyball. Tom Joseph, of course, now part of the Rupee Prime Volleyball League. Hall of Fame as well, what a spike, what a spike! Jimmy George would have been proud of that, so would Tom Joseph. Luis going high over the block into the cross court, out the outstretched reach of the defender. Well, the Blackhawks have got to believe, they've got to Shrug off the defeat from last night, start on a fresh note. Ruben Wallachin wasn't a happy man last evening. Good serve, pretty good serve that. Lovnit and Rajit trying to tango there. Great effort from the libero. And again, and again. There's so much magic from the torpedoes front court. The Blackhawks still struggling to find that rhythm, Colton. I feel that the Torpedoes right now are playing a very consistent game. They're not making many service errors, they're passing well, they're letting Ranjit run a diversified offense, and they look confident out there. As you see there in the replay, the outside attacker using the right side blocker, and the middle just coming up short to make the play on that ball. Ranjit back to serve. Ah, didn't expect it, did not expect it. The Libero, smart play by the captain, Ranjit. Lovmeet took off, but it was Nova Titano! Great service to start that play from Ranjit, and I feel that that will be a key factor for them, is actually running Noah Titano fre more frequently on the right side. 10-6 the score, tactically better, execution way better. It was such a smart ploy from the captain, wasn't it? Uh, it looks and like the Hyderabad team is calling for a super point. Well, it's a desperate move, isn't it? They've got to win this point. This point, this great super point is worth two. 10-6 the score. If uh, Hyderabad win this point, the score will be 10-8. If not, Bengaluru will have a six-point lead. Here we go. Louis. Great high swing into the middle blocker's hands, and that ball is never coming back. 
Excellent decision from the coach calling the super point. I think that may give the life to this team that they need. And now we see a serving sub. Yeah, just what an attack by Luis there, going sharp cross court into the middle blocker's hands. As Luis Arias uh, went to the Tokyo Olympics with Team Venezuela as well, so some of the finest players from across the world are here for a game-changing volleyball league, a sport that has been in oblivion for so long for reasons best left unsaid. But here we are, this platform. Oh, well done, well done. Noah Titano, the 23-year-old. Oh, wow, it appears that the referee did not see a, a block touch on that. And so they called Noah Titano's attack attempt out of bounds. Well, the torpedoes will feel robbed here. For a second, I thought there was a touch. As did I, and I feel that right now, they'll focus on potentially running the pipe or the tempo with Pankaj and Love Me. Love Me with the pass, Ranjit with the set. Yes, and Ranjit uh, has done a wonderful job of establishing the middle of the court in this first match. As you see in the replay, they actually had an attacker coming into the area three zone that may have faked the block just enough for the middle to convert that point. Rhythm is such a key. Lamid Kataria, Ranjit, such a deadly duo that. The Daredevils in the front court. Good set, enough space, wow. enough time to take off. And then that crash landing in the opposition court. Rohit got a hold of that one. What an excellent swing inside of the block, hard at four to four. It's exciting to see him really get after the ball, and I think that he's off to a very good start. Well, Rohit uh, had a sensational start to the league, was uh, man of the match in match one, and then looked quite lost in game two, didn't he? It did appear that he didn't have a, as much of a rhythm in the second match, but certainly tonight, I think he has found a much better connection with the setter. Bengaluru now calling for a super point off of Luis's serve. Just puts it in play. Love it with and the winner. Love me back to the middle. He's been unstoppable tonight, showing great range on both the cutback and the wrist away attack. The block is having a very difficult time stopping him. And now he goes back to serve. Yes, Love me. Here, an opportunity presented itself courtesy of their captain, the setter. Love me loves to meet the ball like that. And that's how he wins points for the torpedoes. The coach is a happy man, and why not? 13-10 the lead now. Remember, this league has matches with sets where the team to hit the 15-point mark wins the set. Two points away from winning the first set, the Bengaluru torpedoes searching for their second win. Ah, no, 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 too far. Too far from that three-meter line. The moment he took off, we knew the execution will not be right. Colton. Amit Gila soaring in on that attack and going straight for the block. He didn't see much court available, so he found a way to use the hands and deflect it out of bounds. Perhaps trying the double bluff should have gone to Rohit for, uh, for that spike. Let's see if Rohit goes after his serve here. Ah, substitution, a double substitution. They're utilizing two setters to play in the back row to have a stronger block in the front row with two front row opposites. SP Guru Prashant has come in. And so has Hari Haran B, the setter. Here we go then. Let's see what that uh, change does to the Blackhawks' fortune in this point. We saw Guru Prashant late in the set, in the la last two sets of yesterday's match. And he, he really was electric for this team. Very uplifting, very positive. Rohit yeah, back to serve. Here we go then. Really high ball toss. Ranjit, and then it wasn't Lamit. If it's not Lamit, well, there's always Pankaj on offer. Pankaj the setter has so many options to go to. Certainly, Pankaj has been an excellent, consistent option for Ranjit. And they're running an inside temple ball there, and he is not holding back, going hard cross court. Excellent play inside of the blocker. Not an easy angle, that, but well done to Pankaj Sharma for being able to find that block and uh, find that shot. And with that winner, uh, Bengaluru have three set points. A timeout has been called for. 14-11 the score. No difference of two here. 
If Bengaluru win the next point, they will win this first set. It's match number seven on day seven. Remember, we've got another big match coming up a little later. It will be the Chennai Blitz in action. Well, the Blackhawks card from last night's loss. The Polo 24-7 has got you covered in case of any on-court injuries. An army of doctors. This is truly the best stage ever made available for uh, Indian volleyball players. Ashwini Purappa, India's badminton star in, uh, in the crowd as well, in the VIP gallery. She was here last evening as well, hoping to see a, a Hyderabad win, and she's back. Good to see such support. It's wonderful support here. It, the crowd is electric. The atmosphere is brilliant. Let's see how both teams respond coming out of this timeout. Noah Titano with the serve. Well, lucky escape there. Good, Good recovery. Great defense played on both sides. Yeah, nice there comes set. the winner. That was a spicy spike. What an incredible attack by Amit Gila. And you saw the setter pushed into area two, setting the longer side ball, securing a single block. And one on one, Amit Gila will score nine times out of ten. Well, Hari Hara has just come in, came up with uh, such a good ball to, to Amit Gulia. They've saved one set point. Is this when they'll finish it? No, 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 no. Interesting play. Looks like a timeout was not registered by the, the R1 official. Right. So the Bengaluru Torpedoes had called for a timeout. And so that point will not be counted. It will be repaid. Uh, Bengaluru still have a two point lead. Hyderabad to serve. Right. Quick tactical prediction. What are we likely to see in this next point when Hyderabad serve? Colton. I think they've done an excellent job. The Bengaluru Torpedoes establishing the middle of the court. But if Pankaj is front row, I have to think that they put their faith in that man's hands. He always challenges the block. He has no fear when attacking. I think this ball will go to area four if Pankaj is in that position. The Blackhawks struggled last night. Just couldn't get going. Just couldn't find their rhythm. It's the home team. They're playing uh, at the GFC Balayogi Indoor Stadium in Hyderabad. The pandemic didn't allow fans to be here. But... Uh, the support staff and the others present trying to encourage their uh, their teams. The Bengaluru Torpedoes so far have looked uh, the better side in offense and defense. Here we go, two set points down. Is there a comeback on the card? Here we go. Great serve, pressure from the overpass. Pankaj, smart hit that. Impossible to predict uh, who's going to win this point. Here we go. Great, Great cover from the libero. Another attempt from the setter. Pankaj just rolling it into play. Oh, and well the middle, putting away is. the overpass. Rohit P has done the trick. And the Bengaluru Torpedoes have won the first set. What an up and down rally that was to end the first set. And the first set happened about Bengaluru Torpedoes is great. And they, are, they have been there with Varun and Lamert who was the key players for the first set. Let's see what will happen for the second time. That is the Hyderabad. We want to see that is the kind of hawk attack they promised. And believe you me, they're going to look like a very different side in the second set. When Rohit take this, this responsibility, he was always there. For the first game also, he had the 10 points before when they beat the rivals. And now he's on the game again. Rohit is there, Rohit Kumar. Rohit is such an important cog in uh, the Hyderabad wheel. If he doesn't score, the Blackhawks struggle. Oh, excellent defense. Rohit once again. Two super spikes in a row. A Rube contactless shot. As stylish as Rube on the go. It's like a fight between the attackers. When Rohit tried to hit the ball, this mighty hit also, Pangaj was there taking this ball like this and tried to keep the ball alive. And after Rohit is there again. That routine, 
that routine for Rohit is really something, and let's keep going. Looks like Ruben Wallachin has uh, somehow made uh, the Blackhawks feel better in the break. I don't know what he said, but whatever he said seems to work, especially with Rohit. Maybe he changed Rohit's name to Go Hit. Go Hit Kumar. Go and hit those spikes. 2-0 the score. Hyderabad with the first two spikes. And an error giving uh, the Hawks from Hyderabad a 3-0 lead. And this is the position that goes directly out. And now the pressure on torpedo side. Oh, good defense. There comes the third shot. Oh, what happened there? Double touch. Not allowed. Torpedoes try to make combinations between the spikers and they just try to change the way of the spike. And it is what Ranjit did. And that he's just coming at the back. I thought Lovic should have gone for that shot uh, when it was available for him. Four zero the score. Hawk attack is back. A set late, but they have a lot of time. They've got to learn from the Bengaluru torpedoes win. Kidambi Srikanth. Barupali Kashyap, Saina Nehwal, Ashwini Ponapa, so many big stars have arrived here in the last few days to enjoy the action of uh, the Rupee Prime Volleyball League part by A23. Our Hyderabad looking like a different side, Bashak, in the second set. Yeah, for sure. Uh, we just talked about the pre-match show. Uh, I said Hyderabad Blackhawks have to find their leaders during the game. And those moments, they have Rohit Kumar is there. And just trying to go and go on and uh, take his team to another step, another level. That's not going to help. That is not going to help. The Blackhawks are well aware, so is Ruben Bolachin, that they need to avoid the such freebies for the torpedoes who take very little time to get going. We saw that in the first set as well. Came the spike, but the block blunting it. This time, the pancake did not quite work. The Bengaluru torpedoes were hoping that Ranjit Singh would do the trick. Unfortunately, not quite. The captain unable to reach it in time. They're already feeling better, looking better. The body language is uh, looking a lot more settled. Luis Arias, the Venezuelan, went to the Tokyo Olympics. Rajit with the set, shot set, and the winner, or was it? No, the ball's still in play. This time Rajit was ready. The Libro with the set, and the block! The block has blunted that spike from the Bengaluru Torpedoes, number five. Ravi Kumar tried that spike, but the block was there just in time. John Joseph. They really start to play in the cleverest way with Rohit they are just waiting for his spikes and he just tried to make it with the tip and they get the point then another circle they had also a great dicks and giving the balls to the setters Bengaluru have to figure another way that is one of them Lovgi Kataria was an angry block he looked like an angry man. Yes, he looked like an angry man. Titano was there also. Great timing, great hand positioning and everything. And that's what they can stop Rohit at this time. So the question, if they can get the control again, their side. 4 points difference. 
Lamit Kataria has been such an impressive young player. So has Rohit Kumar. And Gamuthu with the Sami. Oh, well done, Noah Taitano. Uses left hand to make it right for the torpedoes. Momentum chips so, so easily in this game, in this format. For Noah also, it's really a challenging time. In the first match, he just take two points for his team and he just played three sets. And now he knew that he have to take this responsibility and create some points for his team. Luis Arias had to go all the way to Venezuela to retrieve that ball. All that travel. Going all the way back didn't quite help. The point has been awarded to the Bengaluru Torpedoes. 6 for the score. Ruben Wallachin, what's he thinking? Spoke to him earlier today. He believed uh, that uh, tactically they weren't quite there. Couldn't find the rhythm. Start of the second set, he would have felt nice, but uh, they've got to keep going. No, 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 said no, no, Titano. They have to change the way of the spike, they have to change because they're always passing right there. And the Rohit is there, and the blockers are ready in front of Rohit also and Noah. And with the middle blocker, what they did is really awesome. If they take the ball to the setter directly, they have to use the middles also, the opposite also. Yeah, maybe they should have gone to John instead and on this occasion. Going to Rohit seems to have become slightly predictable. Mix it up a little bit perhaps. Like that, might just help. At least have long rallies. Ranjit with the set. The spike. Okay, there's a third touch, Rohit! Angry, angry looking spike. So full of sizzle. So hot, like an asteroid from space. That is a hawk attack and the hop. He has that passion. He just go to there to take the tips and the help for the defense. And when he got the ball, no chance for the others to get this ball. And Rohit Kumar. Terrific serve that, Ranjit with the set. And the spike, no chance of retrieving that one. <laughs> that is how the torpedoes respond. With as much power, with that kind of precision. Look at the, how Pankaj Sharma takes off with the eight fights, eight fit super spike. A lot of uh, sports persons Talk to sports equipment. Sachin Tendulkar spoke to the bat. Dashak, do you ever speak to your ball? Yep. Have conversations with the volleyball? <laughs> yes, for sure. And he spikers. Uh, oh! They've leaked the point. They need that, that kind of ball. Not just with Luis, not just with Rohit. They need their middle blockers, middle hitters also. This is... Uh, Reaction from the second set of the Southern Derby between the Blackhawks Hyderabad and the Bengaluru Torpedoes. It's uh, day seven, match number seven. We've got a double bonanza coming up. We've got another thriller lined up for all of you. It's the Chennai Blitz looking for the first win against uh, an upbeat Kolkata Thunderbolts. That's match number two tonight. Ranjit with the set. No, Titano! What a shot that was! What a shot that was! That missile from Noah Titano would have sunk the biggest of icebergs. And it's so nice for to see him the first time playing in the professional volleyball league and that creating that kind of a performance also. He's actually as a beach volley player and he has been playing indoors for over four and a half years. And uh, the expectations from him are high. In the first game, he couldn't manage it as well as he wants and uh, the team asked for. But today, he's really doing something. And uh, for players who have been playing also beach volley like Noah, the challenge will be timing the ball and getting used to the ball speed as well. And those are the things that Noah is doing really well. 
that ball from uh, Titano would have hit, would have pushed really hard. It's a, sh a short man, Noah Titano, but packs quite a punch. 8-7 the score, Luis Arias, very soft-spoken uh, man, gentle giant, sat at 6'6". Six six. Pankaj Sharma with the serve, here we go. Straight away, straight away, overhit it. I thought he hit it late and then overcompensated it by hitting it hard. That is what led to the error. And also it's so hard coming from the sideline and uh, taking this responsibility. Um, not every player can do in the right way on those moments. 9-7 the score. Can Hyderabad stay focused? That's the one word that Ruben Bolachin used when I spoke to him earlier today. Oh, ooh, wow, what a tactical move that was from Ranjit. He has so many options in the setter. Bengaluru had to win that point and all the credit for this point must go to their captain Ranjit. He tried three different tricks in this very point. Shows the range of sets he has. He has also so much confidence with the middle blockers and you see two times he just tried from the middle also and the middle blocker take the point with the super spike. And that's what the Hyderabad have to learn as well, to mix it up to add variety to their offense, and that's not happened so far. I'm learning, I'm learning. Dashak, <laughs> spending so much time with Wonderful. you. Okay, Rajit with the set, and that's Mike. <laughs> From the number 18 there, Varun GS. The fans are elated to see such world-class volleyball. Once again, Ranjit is proving to be the man of the match so far, isn't it, Bashak? Yes, for sure. And the other side, Hyderabad, Blackhawks, they have Guru now. And I'm just waiting for his performance. And they just had a uh, substitution with Luis Arias. And yesterday he did really great job. Those kind of youngsters are really waiting for the jersey. And it's time, maybe again, for Guru. Rohit P, the middle blocker, with that service error allowing Hyderabad to get back into the lead by a single point. Vipul, the captain there, the Blackhawks Hyderabad, the skipper. Looking like a, a worried man. Looked nice and relaxed when I met him earlier today. But uh, clearly being on court, seeing the kind of force Bengaluru are. Not easy. Ranjit once again with the short, short set. This time retrieved the, retrieving the ball. The Libro with the set, the block. Blunting that attack. The lead now to what I told you, Manish. What I told you, those are the young stars. He just showed us how passionate he has inside about volleyball. And what yesterday he did, he just tried to continue. And uh, a really great, talented star, young star, Guru, just close all the way to the ball and make a super block. Well, the way the Libero set that ball up, uh, the blocks, uh, the blockers had enough time to align themselves quickly. But uh, well, when you have a setter like that, things look so easy, like uh, a knife through butter. Lovemeet Kataria, once again, the number 10, that man on your screen. Big burly player was ready. He was ready for the captain to offer him the opportunity. When an opportunity knocks, that's how you rock. And shock the opposition, Lavmit Kataria. One of the most impressive uh, young players at the Rupe Prime Volleyball League. A chance for Hyderabad to come up with another hawk attack. Rohit was too far, back behind the 3-meter line. And yet his spike gives them a point. 12-10 the score now. Hyderabad inching closer to the magic figure of 15 points. It was a so tough ball, just on the four meter and a great spike for super spike for taking the chance again to the Hyderabad side. And just two points away. Let's see. Easy ball. This time Ranjit and Lovmi tried something else, but the Hawks were not ready for that Titano attack. Noah has so much novelty, 
surprise the coach as well. <laughs> yes, for sure. And you can't take your eyes from the ball, Manish. Like those kind of balls. And the ball is just going to the other court and then no blockers are there. I promise I won't. I'll keep my eyes on that volleyball <laughs> through and through until the 27th of February. That's when we will see witness one of the seven teams crowned champions. Oh, yes! Such a clean hit that by SV Guru Prasad. The moment you add variety, you start succeeding. They went to Guru instead of Rohit. And that is what happens. SV Guru Prasad is making a case for himself to be in the starting six. Bengaluru have meanwhile called for the Kret Super Point because they want to level the scores. They're trailing by two. The Kret Super Point is worth two. Scores will be level if uh, the torpedoes can do the job. They will serve again. I suppose uh, the referee wasn't ready. But no worries there. Okay. 13-11. SV with the serve. The Libro with the reception. Ranjit! When you have Ranjit scripting the story, the attackers are able to come up with a climax like that. And with that spike, scores are level. When you change the way of the spike, uh, that kind of things can happen. But they try to block it, but can't have a chance. And uh, so nice point for the torpedoes. So, so far we've seen Rohit to Lovmeet, Rohit yep. to Pankaj, yes. Rohit to Noah Taitano. Yep. Impossible to predict. Decent serve that. Rohit gives them the set point. For as long as Rohit is on court, delivering spikes like that, Hawk Attack has got to believe they can win their second match in this league. Manjit, we have a nickname, Fearless Tangamutsu, but I think Rohit also can take this fearless nickname. Let's just call him Go Hit. Yeah. Because mo the moment you, you have a setter offering him great support, tells him to go and hit. And that's what he does, that man, Ranjit. What's he got up his sleeve now? They are down, set point. If Hyderabad win this point, they will win the second set. Ranjit. Noah. The block lands outside. Scores level. Okay then. Scores level and that means the team that wins the next point will win this set. You don't need a difference of two. All you need to do is reach the 15 point mark. This is a set point for both teams. That is what makes this format, this league so exciting. A timeout has been called for. Let's take a look at uh, the last point once again, that spike from Noah Taitano. Great set by uh, the captain once again. And the blockers weren't ready, Vashak. Yeah, uh, on those moments, all the players have to be ready. When you, as we told before, when you take your eyes on the ball, anything can happen in the coming from the opposite side and now it's like a die or leave moment for the teams yeah do or die and for team 14 just they need to be calm because so much stress and the tension during the game just they need to be calm and stay calm and taking the taking the ball to the setters directly the, from the hyderabad side and the, as the noah side he just tried his best. Kirabi Srikanth, one of India's best known uh, badminton players, is uh, in the VIP gallery as well. I'm sure he's loving it. He'd want to see Hyderabad uh, win this point. Where did that land? Where did that land? Out. Just outside. Oh my god. It was a matter of millimeters, I promise you that. Let's get a confirmation. That's up from Noah Taitano. Oh, just outside. Just outside. The luck of the draw. The luck of the green. Going the Hyderabad way. And they have made a comeback. By a whisker, that one landed outside. And that error giving Hyderabad their 15 points. It's one apiece. Even Stevens in match number seven.
Well, growing up in uh, the beautiful uh, Hawaii, what prizes did you get for doing well in volleyball? We'll talk about that after this point. Here we go. This is the start of the third set. One set apiece after the first two sets. Oh, boom, came that spike. Boom, came another spike that landed outside. Rohit. What a great action from Noah Titano on defense there. Just sitting in front of that ball in blistering heat and returning it and winning his team the points. To answer your question, I didn't win a crate of soda, but as a child, I was exposed to a lot of ice cream. <laughs> Colton Cowell, as a young kid, won a lot of ice creams for doing well in volleyball. But you were uh, you're the son of a very strict teacher, aren't you? Your mom's a teacher. Yes, my mom is an educator at the University of Hawaii Maui College in human development and family studies. And so, ma'am, Miss Christine uh, Cowell, if you're watching, your son's not being having ice creams here. He's focusing on fitness. His captain Karthik has not been allowing him to have ice creams. But have a look at that. They will take that point for sure. Yeah, great action. In this set, there's been great defensive plays in the first two points. There's a lot of energy and effort between the two teams, and you see them both battling for each and every point, like their life depends on it. Ranjit Singh knows where things went wrong in the second set. Colton, uh, did Bengaluru do much wrong in the second set for you? I think their start was an indicator of how the set ended. I think they started poorly, and I think that it was difficult for them to find a rhythm early on, and they were forced to battle back. And now you see both sides just with incredible actions. What a block there. That was a blockbuster block from uh, the number 10, Lamit Kataria. Uh, she loved it, didn't she? Yash Biala, the owner of the Bengaluru Torpedoes. A soft-spoken man. Man, a few words, but I'm sure he'll have a thing to do to say about that block. That super block. Excellent show there on the replay. Love me diving into the cross court and just leaving his hands pressed over the net. Really finding a good read on Rohit. The bearded monster, Love me Kataria. One of my favorites. SV Guru not coming up with the goods because the block was so good. It had enough resistance to blunt that spike. Uh, unfortunately, it appears that Bangalore was called either for an under or a net touch on that block, but you can see Bangalore really imposing themselves on defense at the net. Interesting, yeah, it appears that on the block, the outside attacker net with his leg as he was descending from the air, and now point for Hyderabad. What happened there, Colson? Double touch? Inside combination. I'm not sure if they called the double touch or if the ref maybe blew the whistle too early. Uh, it does appear that it was a double. And now Ranjit, the captain, is going to discuss with the R1 referee. Interesting, in the replay, it appears that he made a single motion when playing that ball. We'll see if it's overturned. 3-2 the score, play to continue. Right, the Hawks to serve now. Pruffle with the serve. Ranjit with the set. Pankaj with the spike, get the touch on its way. Awarding Bengaluru a point that takes the score to three apiece in the third set. Pankaj Sharma has been such an underrated player. Goes under the radar, but does the job like this. He's very, very efficient, very consistent. As you can see, there were three Hyderabad blockers in front of him, and he fearlessly attacked the hands high and out of bounds. I think Pankaj is to the torpedoes what uh, Shanti John is for uh, the Ahmedabad defenders. While the focus very often is on Angamuttu, Shanti John has been quite a force. Ooh, where did that land? Just outside. Bengaluru are celebrating, and rightly so. Ah, uh, yeah, just long from the middle attacker appears that he didn't get the correct contact on that ball. And those plays in this set format are, are very crucial in this 15-point set. Good serve. Forced to change angles, some confusion. The setter didn't quite do the job there. 
An opportunity now for Bengaluru. Ranjit in action. Lambit with the finish. How predictable is that? It's it's almost unpredictable in a way. Although Lovemeet is an excellent player, Ranjit is certainly re distributing the ball well. He's utilizing all of his attackers, as you can see. And just right now, Bangalore is playing a little bit more crisp. But they clearly seem to have learned from what went wrong in the second set. That belief is back. The execution is back on point as well. 5-3 the score. Bengaluru in the lead. The Torpedoes won their first match. Beat the Kochi Blue Spikers. Can they do the same against the Hawks? Good reception, good recovery. The Libro has to send that ball back. He's done that job. The Libro received. Oh, ooh, well done. Such an up and down, such an up and down rally that. All credit to the Bengaluru captain Ranjit for his reception on the previous occasion. Bangalore is riding an incredible wave of energy right now. They feel all of this momentum, defensive effort chasing down, as you see in the replay, all the way to the sideline, returning it, and then making the block at the net to finish the playoff. Are uh, there six Ranjits on court, Colton? <laughs> Ranjit is an incredibly talented player. I think there's only one like him. Here we go, the block was there. The block was very much there. Yeah, it appears that Rohit is very, very good in scoring streaks, but at times there's also consecutive errors where the block has really gotten his number figured out. As you can see, they're just blocked to the sideline. Love meet once again, making a great move. Well, there are two pairs of setter spiker. Love meet, that man on his screen combining with the captain Ranjit. But that kind of combination isn't working between uh, Rohit and Vipul Kumar. The captain is that. No, for a second I thought we had the first super serve, not quite. Landing just outside. Sending that uh, curling ball cross court. The ball has gone long. Ooh, yes, just wide as you can see in the replay. But I, I agree with the aggressive action there from the service line. And now the Tokyo 2020 Olympian back to serve. Shot set. That's how Lamid finishes it. It's no surprise there. No, he's so consistent for them and he contacts the ball at such a high point. He's really effective for them and Bangalore is simply just passing the ball very well. Colton Cowell of the Kochi Blue Spikers. Colton, give us something, something, some color from uh, Hawaiian volleyball. Hawaiian volleyball is known for its beautiful beaches its scenery and the kindness of the people. And you certainly see that here in this same environment. The environment is electric here, the people are kind, they're supportive and they love their volleyball. And they love such spikes. They love such spikes because it's the home team that's done the job. On that occasion, John Joseph, I reckon it was, yes it, be, yes it was, with that spike, the winner. Yes, as you can see here, his first attempt was dug but it's time number two. If you don't succeed at first, you try, try again. And he certainly did. Well, Hawaii is also known for um, Miss Christine Cowell's son, Colton Cowell, who is making the waves at the Rupe Prime Volleyball League. And I'm absolutely loving it here. It's an incredible country, an incredible place to visit. The level of volleyball is high. And once again, the people are wonderful. Well, thanks, Colton. Pankaj Sharma, not enough room to spike. Oh, well done by the Libro. Post that block. Louis Arias. No, 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 no. Yeah, they called an overtouch there on Luis. I think just his foot may have just grazed the three meter line on that attack, as you can see. In the replay now, wow, they really have a good, a good number on Rohit's attack, setting up three blockers on the pipe there. Just redirecting all of, of the defense. Noah Titano back to serve. He's been a big factor for them, bringing energy and youth to this team. Great defense by the libero. And you love to see that. Amit Gila just challenging the block multiple times in that same rally. Fearlessly going at the attacker's hands. Fast, high, and through the block. Vipul, the setter, is certainly 
establishing confidence with his attackers by repeating to them in the same rally, even after unsuccessful attempts. on that may have been just long on the attack aggressively searching for the outside blockers hands Hyderabad making a short run here 7-9 to serve Hyderabad looking to gain some momentum here Excellent pass. And that middle attack for Bangalore has just been unstoppable up to this point. They're really in a rhythm with their setter and their reception is just excellent. I think that will be a trend for this whole match is unless Hyderabad puts more service pressure in, Bangalore will be in system all night and pumping balls to the middle. Ten serving seven. Great serve from Pankaj, applying pressure to the Hyderabad reception and Amit searching for the hands, but just a little bit too high over the outstretched blockers. Hyderabad calling for a super point. These are always very exciting moments in this Rupay Prime Volleyball League. I expect even with the calling of the super point. With an 11-7 lead, I expect Pankaj to go after his serve here and be aggressive. I stand corrected. A float service, but well placed. Incredible defense from Noah Titano and a very bold swing from Pankaj out of the pipe. But just the, the block of the Hyderabad defenders was too strong. As you can see in the replay here, once again, Pankaj going to challenge the outstretched hands of the blocker, but just too strong in that moment. Vipul, the captain, back to serve. Amit just keep, oh, just doing his best to keep that ball in play. Ranjit showing a different form of second attack than you see from most setters, going for the deep tip shot. Is he a setter or is he an upsetter? He's certainly making waves with his play tonight. He's been an incredible, incredible force to be reckoned with. Overpass by the Hyderabad defenders, put down by the middle blocker for Bengaluru. And you see all of the momentum. Once again, I believe it was Lovemeet at the net attacking that ball with conviction. Well, most certainly, uh, Lovemeet Kataria is uh, challenging his captain for the Rupe Man of the Match award tonight. I would agree, and as a middle blocker, only being in for three rotations, it's very difficult. However, he certainly is putting on a show tonight. Quite a show that Pankaj Sharma. Today, once again, uh, the Bengaluru Torpedo showing so much variety. But, but clearly, the epicenter of all their attacks is that captain, Ranjit Singh. If he fails, everything would, would fall apart. He certainly is very cool, calm and collected on the court, but when he needs to be, he's vocal, he's organizing his team, and he's certainly looking to lead them to their second victory. There they are. Uh, some uh, known names from Indian badminton are here. Safik Ranki Reddy, Sikhi Reddy, Sumit, and uh, the biggest of them all, Kidambi Srikant, are present at the GMC Balayogi Indoor Stadium in Hyderabad. There is uh, Yash Biala, the owner of the Bengaluru Torpedoes, alongside uh, Tuhit Mishra of Baseline Ventures. 
Oh, what a shot. What a shot down the line. That missile down the line all the way from Venezuela. Maita. Maita means mother. That's how he refers to his mother. And his mother will be proud. His Maita will be proud of that mighty hit. That is wonderful that he's honoring his mother. And she certainly would be proud of that attack down the line. Great replay here. Just outside the blocker's hands. Fire down the line. 13-10 the score. Bengaluru need two more points to go up 2-1 in this uh, five-set contest. Not a best of five, but all five sets will be played. Rajit with the set. Oh, smart play there by Lamit. Completely disturbing uh, the Blackhawks. But they still came up with the winning point. It appears that Amit Gila is a man on a mission. First, bringing the heat from the service line, playing this tip, and then returning the pipe attack with nothing but power. Well, I thought Pankaj and the Libro weren't ready. They didn't expect that kind of shot uh, from the other side of the net, I thought. The response could have been better. There he is, Abhishek, in the background there from the Blackhawks Hyderabad. Very involved, very invested emotionally as well. And that's what makes this league special. Seven teams all go on this league along with Baseline Ventures and they have a terrific broadcast partner in Sony Sports as well so when good people with the right intent come together you see this kind of magic on court we've seen some uh, sensational volleyball over the last six days today is day seven a fun Friday evening for everyone sitting at home and watching 13-11 the score the Ahmedabad defenders have been the best side there they are India's badminton stars Sattvik Ranki ready, Sikhi ready, Sumit and Kidabi Srikant in the house. Clearly supporting the Blackhawks Hyderabad. Who are being troubled a hell of a lot by the Bengaluru torpedoes. Amit Gulia, he's a fighter. He's shown some spark, he's shown so much fire today. They need consistency. Boom, Noah Titano with that spike. But the point was awarded to the, torped, uh, to the Blackhawks. Yeah, it appears that that ball did not clear the height of the net. Although it looked like the deflection went out of bounds off of the blocker's hands, we'll see in the replay here. The referee made a decisive call. Oh. That certainly is questionable, but at the end of the day, the video review system is not available and the call will stand. Amit Gila making a run for his team from the service line. Amit Gulia once again. Pretty good serve. Oh, very, very good serve. But Ranjit this time said, I don't know, I don't need to set every time for everyone else. I will come up with the winner. I will write the bottom line like that. Access denied by the captain of the Bangalore Torpedoes just fast enough to get him both hands on the ball. And you see him uplifting his team at such a crucial time. 14-12, back to serve. Ranjit has the ability to close out the set. He has an opportunity. Here we go. Always serves like this. Now up to the blockers. And they've done the job. Love Kataria. Combining with Varun GS. Winning this crucial point. They had the opportunity. Luis Arias had the angle. Or so he thought. Love and Varun didn't. And they combined with this two-man block to send the Blackhawks Hyderabad packing in set number three. They won the set, the third set by 15-12. They're up two sets to one. They're only one set away from registering their second win in this tournament. The fourth set on the other side. Yes, we do. Well said, Bashar Koch. It is a revolution, this Rupe Prime Volleyball League. And the sport is going to be a national obsession in the times to come. Because of moments like that, because of that kind of play, what an attack that from uh, the Venezuelan Luis Arias Guzman. He's a good man. Yeah, good man, and he come so serious. They had good starts on the set three, beside Rabat. But what happened to the Bengaluru side is just coming from the middle players, and they find their rhythm and control all the game. Lamert was there, Rohit was there from the middle, and. They just win the set. 
Ranjit Lavneet is a winning combo. When number 10 and number 4 combine, that's what you get. This pair has been uh, the reason for so many of our torpedoes points. Just know each other. They know exactly where the ball is going to go. And Lumbeat's finishing has been world class today. Lose once again. Like uh, Luis Maita, like Luis Arias, an Olympic player, have to take those kinds of responsibilities and look what he did. He just turned his hands outside and off the block. Well, I thought uh, the ball touched the, the antenna as well after uh, getting a touch on the torpedo side. Oh, this time the combo didn't work. Here we go. Let's try once again, this time with another partner. It didn't work this time either. Or did it? Pressure on the Blackhawks defense. Chance number three. The ball is still in play. Guess what? It continues. Fourth set for Ranjit. Lamit unable to finish. The Blackhawks are fighting. Terrific defense that. No, Noah Titano comes up with that block. Ranjit tried once, twice, thrice, four times. Failed. And then it was up to Noah Titano to come up with that blockbuster block. That's an awesome block after the long rally and those kind of digs and the turning the ball into the court again is really something for the players. All the team have passion to win this game. We can see it from their eyes, from their attitude, from, from their way of playing. If only Ruben Volacil was mic'd up. We know what he's thinking. We'll try and ask him tomorrow morning. Two apiece. No, 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 no. Too cute. Too cute to be perfect. Was never going to work. Don't try Ranjit on a team led by Ranjit. Yeah, just a high ball for the middle player because he just waited for a quick attack. And when he jumped, the setter couldn't make it. John Joseph tried to take a leaf out of uh, the opposition captain Rajit's uh, book. Wasn't to be. Lakshmi Narayan, a happier coach. The body language says it all. 3-2 the score. Bengaluru in the lead. They're up two sets to one. This is the action from the fourth set. Remember, we have another match coming up. What happened there? Ah, Pankaj. Not timing his jump, for, uh, jump right. Well, you're... You have a great service and you couldn't take the ball from the from your eyes. It counts like a less points. And you give the points to the opponents. Those are the good serves at taking the risks. Ranjit Pankaj. That's a deadly combo as well. That's a cracker of a combination. Ranjit with the second touch, Pankaj with the spike. And we're all witness to this kind of Rupe contactless shot. So stylish from Pankaj, just like Rupe on the go. And also, John Joseph couldn't reach to help the help the block, the middle blocker, and it's a one block in front. He take a mighty hit from Noah, good sir. And again, a chance at the back court. Luis is there. They just use Luis in front, and those kind of the ball, they need to change the way. They need to change the plan. They need to change the place. So, as we told that, they're just looking their leader, and that on those moments, it seems like that is Luis. 4 4. Oh, so short, so short, so short. He couldn't take the ball where he wants. And uh, if you have uh, that kind of a man who well, is tall, Rohit, it's so short. You try to stitch together another partnership. Ranjit, 
along with Rohit. The two R's It'll take a while to get uh, get going for that pair. Ranjit and Rohit, keep an eye on them. Ranjit will make it work. I promise you, he will. Will it be this time? No, <laughs> he went solo. He went solo, but the block was ready. Bangladesh setter and the captain Ranjit is that kind of a player, that style. He can just not wait in the dump and the take the responsibility, but the blockers are really ready from Hyderabad side. Yeah, that's the replay of this position. Hyderabad have a two point lead. Chance now for Bengaluru to spike and they receive well. Okay, not bad. Pankaj! Right in the corner, right at the edge of that uh, box. So close to the end line and the sideline. Pankaj delivers another eight pitch super spike. A rupee contactless shot. Pankaj making hay while Ranjit shines. And the again, cap. and again, against the one block. And now it's time to take the third point, maybe for the Bangladesh torpedoes. And a great serve, great ditch. Oh, monster block! Look, if Rohit can't spike, I promise you, you can block. That man on your screen, Rohit P, single-handedly, almost, send that ball back. Rohit, the number seven there. The players who is coming to help to the middle blockers is really something. They can close all the way to the spikers. They took the spikers' pace in the way, and they made this, that kind of blocks. Yes, what a serve. What a boom, a booming serve that chance to spike oh no some confusion some confusion rare occasion when Ranji did not get it right well done by the libro for being able to at least get to that ball and well done or not getting injured not getting his head knocked off after that uh, sensational spike The Liberos also trying to do really well and the, those kind of balls with the mighty sheet, it's so hard to take these balls to the setters. But they are trying well. That is uh, so much better, so much better. Yes, the point will be awarded to uh, the torpedoes. who's been hot and cold today. Their uh, solid grip over the Baiju's most valuable player race. It's a good race to have for the defenders. Those three have been in unbelievable form for the defenders who won three and three, right on top of the table. And that's where uh, the Torpedoes want to be at. The Blackhawks of Hyderabad want to spoil Torpedoes, the, uh, the Bengaluru Torpedoes party. After the technical timeout, they have just to put the pressure on them, and uh, this will be the side for the Hyderabad Blackhawks with Amit Gulia. He really did well with the serves, and the Bengaluru side tried to make the attack with the outside hitters, and he couldn't find a point. And let's see what he tried again. Oh, they did it with the middles. They continue the game with the middle attackers. Lamit was there again. Such great understanding between the two once again. But when uh, the blockers get ready for uh, Ranjit plus Lamit, Ranjit comes up with something else. 
So they've been able to mix it up really well. Yeah, for sure, they're doing really well. Oh, pipe, tip, block. <laughs> it's an exhibition of the finest caliber of volleyball. Oh, wasn't oh. ready for the spike and yet had the winner. Wow! What we say, those kind of balls. It's like a campfire. All the guys are just looking to the ball. This is campfire time. Got on GS with that winner. They were ready for the spike, but once again, they're able to mix it up so well. The torpedoes, Rohit. Good reception by uh, the Libero. And the block. The block from uh, Rakhul S, the middle blocker, the 25-year-old. There he is, the man responsible for that win. They need that kind of uh, confidence because they just giving the ball Rohit and the blockers are there every time from the Bengaluru Torpedo. So they have to find some way to hit the ball or make the block or taking the points. And that was full there this time. That is not going to help matters. Ruben Bolochin just turned away. No such reasons for uh, the torpedoes, coach. He's looking nice and relaxed. Body language says it all, really. Ten apiece now in the fourth set. The torpedoes of Bengaluru are 2-1 up. And I can tell you they'll want to close this match out here. They do not want another five sets. They've had to make, make up. Make a sensational comeback against the Kochi Blue Spikers. Lost the first two sets. Made a crazy, crazy comeback. They want to finish this match right here, right now. But the Blackhawks won't allow it. They will keep fighting. What a pipe from Amit Gulia. This set, I think his set. We can talk in that way also. And a good set and the, that pipe just over the middle blocker and also the defense is just set at number six and they couldn't make it. One point lead. Lewis to serve. Ranjit with the set. Lovebeat almost with the winner. Well done, Libro, for keeping the ball in play. They pulled with the second touch, but there was no third touch. There was no third touch. And that is where the difference is between these two sides. With the torpedoes, the second touch is always followed by that kind of shot. Yeah. But have a look at uh, the Blackhawks. Nothing there, absolutely nothing. Just try to tip it, but uh, what the Hari Haran, the leader of Hyderabad, was awesome. He's just trying to keep the ball alive and to take to give the chance to the spikers. And now it's time, great super point for Blackhawks Hyderabad. And it's 11-11. If they get the points, they will go directly with the 13 points. 13-11 shall be the score, but in favor of who, we'll find out. In a few seconds from now, here we go. It is the Blackhawks Hyderabad! It is that man Rohit once again! Why fear when I am here, said Rohit Kumar. Their star attacker, come the big moment. Rohit delivered, 13-11 the score. Are we in for a five-set thriller? Why not? I really understood that. Rohit loves adrenaline. This kind of, <laughs> this kind of moments, he take all the responsibility. And this time, great super points for Bengaluru Torpedoes. I love the sound of the word adrenaline when Bashakot says it in her Turkish style. Say it again. Great super point. There, oh, 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 pressure, pressure, pressure is the name of the game. The torpedoes now wondering what to do because the Blackhawks have won the fourth set. It's two apiece now. We are going into a fifth set, a must win set. The team that wins the fifth set will take home two points. 
What a party! What a Friday night party from the GMC Balayogi Indoor Stadium in Hyderabad. Dopidos won the first set. Hyderabad made a comeback. Double bonanza on offer on day seven of the Rupee Prime Volleyball League, part by A to three, and in the commentary box as well. Good start to the set. Very entertaining. And Hyderabad have drawn first blood in this first win set. Double bonanza in the English commentary box because. While there's Bashak Kosh, there's also Colton Cowell all the way from Hawaii. Colton, where's this going? I really like the start of this set, deciding with Amit Gulia to serve from the, from the service line. I think he brings the pressure. I think he's electric. I think he, for this match, has been the MVP so far. And if the Bengaluru Torpedoes win, I'd say Lamit Kataria. Would you agree? I agree. For a middle, he's contributed significantly. Just like that. that. Just like that, exactly. Incredible action from Lavmeet. Just elevating and absolutely getting on top of that ball. <laughs> Ranjit, the captain, back to serve. One off. to not touch that ball he knew where it was going to land I think Amit they're trying to take Ranjit out of position making him play the first touch but just wide on that attack attempt 2-1 for the Bangalore Torpedoes It appears that attack attempt by Rohit Kumar was just sent wide, clearing the block. And in this replay, as soon as that ball lands, you see the Bangalore celebrating, bringing the energy, willing their team to win. This must win set. They pull with the set, but the block is there. They'll have to retry. Uh, once again, Vipul with the set. Second attempt. Successful. Because uh, the block had just too much resistance on it. And the angle was such that the ball landed outside, allowing uh, Hyderabad to win that point. 3 to the score. That was a crucial point for Hyderabad. Rohit not backing down with even two blockers in front of him. Four hands across the net. And he still finds a way to score. He went the other way. Yeah, a little combination play with the outside attacker going behind the center, just delaying his approach enough to get the block to commit. And then second tempo. Not Pankaj, not Lamit, he went to Varun GS. And that's, that kind of unpredictability, that kind of variety in attack has made the Bengaluru Torpedoes quite the force. 4 to the score in the fifth and final set. It's a must win. That is not going to help matters. No, 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 no. Varun GS has got to, got to do better. Aggressive serve there at a very crucial stage in this match. And now you see the Chennai Blitz warming up, preparing for their next match against the Kolkata Thunderbolts. Yes, uh, both teams have arrived at the GMC Balayogi Indoor Stadium. That is going to be... Excellent swing from Pankaj down the line. Medium system set, and he still finds a way to score. Full confidence. What a great match in this fifth and final set. By 
three the score. Ranjit Lamit combining. Normalcy has been restored. In fact, it was Rohit, not Lamit. I'm seeing Lamit everywhere. Yeah, he's been all over the court. He's from the service line right now. And now the setter running that first tempo, even in the late fifth set, really just establishing the middle of the court. And you see the lovely celebrations among teammates. There's a lot of momentum going for Bengaluru at this stage. The next match tonight, the Chennai Blitz versus the Kolkata Thunderbolts. We'll see many such uh, rallies and some great spikes in that match as well. We do not go anywhere. Friday night is about to get even better. Like that, Rohit with the block. What a block, a block that is. A super duper block. You cannot go past that man. Triple block there set up by the Bengaluru Torpedoes and that rally started by a brilliant play on defense by none other than Love Mead himself. As you can see now, super block, Dafa News replay. Amit really going to challenge there, but unfortunately, the block said access denied. Total domination. Everyone on this team has contributed. And they look like the team who's convinced us most that they can win this match. Hyderabad have been a bit up and down, a bit hot and cold, and it's that kind of vulnerability that doesn't inspire enough confidence for their supporters. But there they are. The Thunderbolts from Kolkata in white and red. They will be taking on the Chennai side who want to start blitzing. They couldn't in their first game. But this promises to be an absolute cracker. The southern part of India versus eastern India. Well, uh, Kolkata play free-spirited volleyball. Chennai plays solid volleyball. That side full of uh, players from Tamil Nadu. Promise uh, a nail-biting contest. A great super point has been called for by the Blackhawks. They know they need it. They know they need to take the score to 7-5. Love me to serve. Here we go. Will the score be 9-3? Chance for Love to set the tone. To lay the foundation of a six-point lead. Here we go. Luis Arias has given them two more points. And there you just see the trust in, in Vipul, the setter, setting Luis on the backside, and the block was just slightly delayed, potentially thinking that Rohit was going to attack that ball, but Luis coming through for his team. Fast out of the rhythm of the block, off the hands and out of bounds. The Venezuelan there showing his uh, class, his experience, his top-level experience. Rohit Kumar with the serve, high ball toss. Oh, almost an error. Here we go, Ranjit. Pankaj. There was a touch off the block. A chance for Lewis to spike again. This time he overdoes it. Just too much on it. Excellent defense there from Rohit, giving his team a chance to score, but just a little too long on the attempt from Lewis. Timeout called by the Hyderabad Blackhawks. It's the climax of the fifth set. It's two apiece, 8-5 the score in favor of the Torpedoes. They're serving, Noah Taitano. Luis Arias, oh, well done by the Libro. Great reception, Pankaj Sharma keeps the ball in play. Another chance, this time from the other side, well done! What a play from the Libero, but unfortunately, Amit Gulia just too cerebral on that play, going over the top of the block with the power tip. What an excellent effort, though, from the Libero. You have to commend him for that. But this second attempt on defense just did not, did not convert for the Bengaluru Torpedoes. Yes, he believes they can still come back. Well, credit to B. Midun Kumar, the Bengaluru Libero, for uh, making a good contest out of that one. Pankaj Chema wins one back, pulls one back. Excellent swing from Pankaj. They're going high and aggressive towards the corner. Great for Ranjit to continue to have faith in his players as this match goes on. Just how he took off. Such simple technique. No fuss.
great finish. Yes, and you see the coach absolutely loving that action, celebrating with his players, enjoying this environment and the energy that's displayed. Impossible to pick up player of the match, although Love Meets perhaps I think will edge the uh, edge over the others. No, 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 can't afford that. These these are expensive points. It could cost you the game. Yeah, certainly at this stage in the game, it's very important for service to mitigate service errors. These are crucial, crucial points, and I feel that with the lead that the Bangalore Torpedoes have, just putting the ball in play and working hard on defense may determine the outcome. Ooh. An error from the captain. Well, he, he is scratching his head after he hit that ball. He knew straight away, he knew he'd made that mistake. Yeah, certainly un an uncharacteristic error at this stage. But the score is still close, they're still within reach. Rohit Thi with the service. Ripple with the set. Oh, well done, well done, Ranjit. Once again, creating an opportunity. And it has worked, worked like magic, like it almost always does. Ranjit is the chief playmaker of that side and we've seen him do this so many times in this contest. And once again, just the defensive effort from the Bengaluru Torpedoes time and time again throughout tonight has just been incredible. And Pankaj there, putting the decisive action to finish the point. Inching closer, 11-7 the score, four point the difference. The Torpedoes four points away from registering their second win in, the, in this league. They pull with the set. Is there a finish? Yes, there is. Certainly for me, the MVP for tonight, for this evening, on the Hyderabad side has been none other than Amit Gulia. He's simply playing at such a high level from both the service line, from the attack line, reception, all around game, he's been playing great. Will his uh, solo effort go in vain? That man on your screen, Amit Gulia, one of the key attackers of the Blackhawks Hyderabad, or will Bangalore prevail? Still a three-point lead for the torpedoes, Ranjit, Lamid combining, they will try again, oh, confusion, oh, confusion, how rare is that? Oh, that's an untimely error from Bangalore there. They're certainly allowing Hyderabad to inch back into this match. Those are crucial points. Uh, just an unfortunate miscommunication error there. They haven't heard of social distancing, have they? <laughs> Apparently not. 11-9. Well, the mercury is rising in Hyderabad. High ball toss. Oh my God, no! Such a face palm moment that. That was a difficult decision for Amit. I think going back there, he's full confidence. I think the coach believes in him. And at this stage in the game, he's really just trying to will his team back into play. Mohan Ukrapandian and Ashwal Rai with their teams have arrived. They are battle ready. That's match number two tonight. On this first double header of the Rupee Prime Volleyball League, Ranjit Singh. Oh. What's with this? What's with this in this tournament? Why are so many players making these errors, Colton? I think I think there's certainly an adjustment with this ball. I think I think this ball is providing some difficulty for some of the servers. And interestingly enough, though, in this fifth set, typically you would see more focus displayed on behalf of the players, but there have been significant errors. Vipul, the Blackhawks captain, will be a relieved man, saying, all right, the opposition captain has made the same mistake. We'll share the blame. Here we go. 12-10. A chance for the torpedoes to spike first. Ranjit. Lamid! Oh, hits it outside! Unbelievable! Under pressure, Lamid hits it outside! Would you believe it? And once again, Hyderabad just showing this steady focus, allowing themselves to inch back into this match just from consistent effort and opponent's errors. How about a Kret super point? Well, no signs yet. Hyderabad can still call it. Do they have the guts to call it? Wow, what a fun Friday night it's been. But I can promise you we're not done yet. There's another cracker coming up. 
between the Chennai Blitz. Kidambi Srikant will continue to be here. Chennai Blitz versus that team led by Ashwal Rai. There he is, getting his uh, footwork right. The Kolkata Thunderbolts captain. Love me, how much is that error going to cost the Bengaluru Torpedoes? He knows he erred. To err is human. But to recover, at least in this game, is superhuman. And I believe Lovmeet may have the last laugh. We'll find out if he does. 12-11 the score. Okay, chance now. Lovmeet. Oh my god! Oh, <laughs> scores level! Who would have thought? 12 apiece in the fifth and final set. Hyderabad just playing as a team in these moments. Well-formed block, serving in play. Defense willing to sacrifice their body. And you see the coaching staff is absolutely loving this, as are the fans. The energy is only increasing as these points continue. The question is who can hold their nerve? There we go. Ranjit. Not love me. It was uh, somebody else. It was Varun GS. One point lead. 13-12 now. Bengaluru will serve. Well, I thought the blockers were ready for uh, Love Meet. An out of syllabus question in the examination. They must have been, because they all jumped at the same time in unison. They looked well formed, but Varun at that second tempo coming around for the combination play. That is what makes uh, Ranjit such a smart player. Okay, no chance of an error. Chance for a spike now. And he lands it just right in the sweet spot. And you must be Guru Prasad, the 21 year old, against. The Solvans of Indian and World Volleyball. And you love to see that action. 21 years of age, a big time moment, just going over the top of the block. Excellent deep corner swing. And you see the passion from the young man. There are no ties at the Rupe Prime Volleyball League. You will have a winner in a few minutes from now. Maybe in the next two points. Or will it be three? We'll find out. SV, the star of that last point to serve. Who is he going to target? Pankaj, Ranjit, Lovmeet gets the winner! Lovmeet Kataria has made amends for that error a couple of points ago. Coming through when his team needed him most. And now back to serve. The fate of this game is in his hands right now at this moment. Under pressure, takes off, comes up with the winner. Takes nerves of steel, match point. Match point for the Bengaluru Torpedoes. Will it be heartbreak for the Hawk attack? The lull before the storm. Here we go. Chance. Spike lands outside. The Bengaluru Torpedoes have done it. Commiserations to Hyderabad, but I've got to say the better team won tonight. They held their nerve in the crunch moments. Lovmeet Kataria under pressure gave them the match point. Hyderabad had to go for it. That error giving Bengaluru Torpedoes two more points with their second win at the Rupe Prime Volleyball League. That is how it happened. Congratulations, Bengaluru. And that error came from their chief striker, Rohit Kumar. Who would have thought? Scenes of jubilation. What a total team effort. This is 360 degree volleyball. The scoreline does not do justice to the amount of entertainment we've seen. What a way to start the double header, the first ever double header of the Rupe Prime Volleyball League, powered by A23. The Bengaluru Torpedoes edging the Hyderabad Blackhawks in yet another epic fight setter and succumbing the Hyderabad Blackhawks to another defeat in successive days. To my right in the presentation party tonight is Mr. Abhishek Reddy, the co-owner of the Hyderabad Blackhawks. A very happy Mr. Ankit Nagori, the co-owner of the Bengaluru Torpedoes. And representing Rupe is Mr. Rajiv Dhariwal, the group head for Liability AU Small Finance Bank. We invite Mr. Rajiv Dhariwal on behalf of Rupe to hand over the player of the match and the check 
to none other than the short set spiker, Lovemeet Kataria of the Bengaluru Torpedoes. Lovemeet is also awarded with Rupee on the go, an innovative way to tap and pay at a Rupee contactless enabled merchant outlet. He was a threat every time he was there near the net. The communication with the captain and ace setter Ranjit Singh was there for all to see. Congratulations, Lovemeet, for a brilliant performance, and congratulations to the Bengaluru Torpedoes as well.